question, should you run off-the-shelf tubes or wait for a pro tube? Let's talk about it. Guys, welcome back to Daily Driven. Today we're gonna to be answering the question, should you run off-the-shelf tunes on your Mustang EcoBoost or wait to get a Pro Tune? Let's talk about it. Guys, we're back in the EcoBoost, as you can probably tell. Today we're gonna to be discussing tuners, if you can see that over here. I have the Cobb Access Port, which is a very popular option, not only with the EcoBoost Mustang, but a lot of other platforms as well. The Cobb Access Port allows you to tune your vehicle, but also monitor tons and tons of parameters, which it's, it's pretty damn good at, to be honest. You probably didn't buy this tuner, if you bought one already, because it monitors everything. Um, you might have, but most likely you probably bought it to make more power, because that's what I did. But I wanted to discuss a little bit about, is it safe to run, you know, Cobb Stage 1, Stage 2, and Stage 3 tunes, off-the-shelf tunes, they come on the Cobb Access port, are they safe to run? That's what we're gonna be answering today. When you buy the Cobb Access port, you get access to multiple tuning files for 91 and 93 octane fuel. So, a lot of folks will see this and they'll be giddy to just upload one of them. But is it safe to do so? If you have the right mods, then it should be. And let me explain that. All right. So Cobb offers stage, stage tuning, basically. So they'll have stage one, stage two, and stage three files. Now it's very important when you get your Cobb access port to assess what upgrades you have on your vehicle and what stage tune that you're safe or you're acceptable uh, to run, right? So the Cobb stage one tune, all you need is a drop in, uh, air filter basically so you can use like a tnn i have an afe dry filter in mine everything else you're good to go you could slap that thing on and make a little bit more power and it's pretty conservative that one i don't have much problems with so if you saw my last video i installed the cv fab uh street intercooler and so far i love it by the way uh, but that got me thinking I'm like, for stage two, all you need is an intake and you need an intercooler. And so I was kind of going back and forth and decided to upload the stage two tune. I was messing around with it for a few days and my honest opinion on the tune itself going from stage one cob to stage two was that the stage two tune was a lot smoother. So with stage one, you really got a lot of torque at the low RPM. So you get that like shove back in your seat feeling and it's pretty cool. Um, the stage two though, I could sense that it had more kind of power in the mid to higher rev range. A little different there. Personally, I thought uh, the stage two tune felt better for my my kind of taste anyway because the stage one would still kind of run out of steam at the upper rpms it's much better than stock but it still would run out of steam a little bit at the higher rpms so the stage two tune i thought actually kind of fixed that issue a little bit or at least helped now can i recommend the stage two tune from cobb not so much unfortunately i like the way it felt and I liked the way the car performed overall, but honestly guys, I was monitoring these parameters and it really wasn't good. Um, let me show you what I have on the Cobb Access port for monitoring um, and we'll go from there. I'll try to explain it. So on the Access port, I was monitoring ignition correction on all four cylinders. Um, I usually have the boost pressure up there and then my charge air temps, which 
has gone down significantly or drops way faster with the CVF Street intercooler versus the stock one, which was to be expected, but um, I'm pretty happy with that performance so far on that. Anyways, um, during the, the Cobb uh, Stage 1 tune that I had on the car for a little while now, I wasn't seeing much ignition correction, um, negative ignition correction. So I was feeling like that that's pretty good, right? So I when I uploaded the Stage 2 tune, I drove around uh, with it for a couple days. And unfortunately, I started seeing negative ignition corrections on every cylinder. So I actually, I have cylinder one on here twice. Someone's gonna comment that, I know it, I see it. <laughs> but uh, ideally this would be one, two, three, and four. So I'll have to change that. But um, I was seeing ignition correction on all cylinders. Um, and the worst it got was on cylinder three, where I hit negative 3.43 of uh, ignition correction or negative ignition correction. And honestly, that was when I was like, all right, this is not good. I mean, you really don't want to see negative ignition correction um, at any point in time, but uh, it was getting to be a little bit much. So after uploading the Cobb Stage 2 tune, I was noticing that ignition correction, that negative ignition correction, and I really didn't feel too comfortable. So we flashed it back to Cobb Stage 1, and I'm feeling much better about it. So can I recommend off-the-shelf tunes for the EcoBoost? I think if you want to go Stage 1 and you do the little drop-in filter, you're probably good and you're safe. So far, I haven't seen or had any problems with the stage one file. No ignition, no negative ignition correction, and the power is pretty good for what you get. But that's where I will draw the line on uh, the over-the-counter tunes, or off-the-shelf tunes, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think past stage one, you're just gonna wanna go get a pro tune, honestly. It's gonna be the safest, bet for you because a pro tune is going to be tailored to your specific car it's not going to be one size fits all kind of thing because all of our cars are kind of different so that's what we're going to do uh, at some point in time but uh, right now i'm rocking the cop stage one and i'm pretty happy no negative ignition correction so i'm a happy camper all right guys that was the video for this week i hope you guys got some value out of it here um so all in all, do I recommend off-the-shelf tunes? I would have to say Cobb Stage 1 seems fairly safe from what my experience is. After that, I'm thinking Pro Tune would be just the best way to go. So I hope you guys found this video entertaining at the very least. If it's your first time here, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I'm happy you're with us. I upload once a week. Um, typically it's Saturdays. Guys, I'm so happy that you guys could join me for another video. And uh, another milestone we hit this week is 350 subscribers. So I want to thank all of you guys for making that happen. Um, we are on our way. Also, if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe down below. We'll grow that 350, okay? If you guys liked it, feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, let me know uh, what we can improve upon. So. Guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.